Well, hello everybody and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. Here we are on June 29th, 2021. And yeah, that's a storm that just bypassed me. Uh, didn't get anything but a couple of sprinkles here and there. Uh, didn't even get anything wet. Just, just noticed a drop or two here or there. So it was really uh, nothing. Although some of the other areas did get some pounding. I did get a couple of alerts on my phone today for um, severe thunderstorms, but uh, nothing ever came out of it. Anyway, my neighbor and I got together today and he helps me on some of these trips and we should usually split the take. And uh, we went down for pick up some more of these totes and uh, we picked up six totes this time. And I don't really need any more right now because I still got to get these four cleaned and, and ready to get set up to get filled. And uh, that's what these big pallets are going to be about, uh, getting those things situated down by the, the greenhouse and the garden house. And then I should have uh, plenty down there and I'm going to call for another order of water and refill my main water tank and uh, get all of my, my totes down there filled up. So what I'll probably do is drain off the water that's in the tank down to all of the totes the day before I'm going to get my water delivery. And I'll have my outdoor shower, which I've been using on a regular basis every night before bed. It's still in the 90s at 10, 1030 at night. And I'm, I just come out the bedroom door right here, walk over to the outdoor shower, and I take a nice warm shower. It's almost hot still at that time of night but uh, take a nice shower outside um, I'm pretty much air dried before I even walk back from there back to the house but I dry my hair off just in case uh, just to be sure and I step inside I turn a ceiling fan on lay down on the bed and I'm nice and cool and I fall asleep in no time at all so, way to go just beautiful take an outdoor shower and take an indoor nap <laughs> Love in the desert. So anyway, the sun's coming back out. It looks like uh, the uh, storm has bypassed me again. What I got out of the deal, my neighbor got all six of the totes. I got all of this lumber. And uh, this is all two by fours. These are not four by fours. These are four by four blocks that are um, nailed on to the bottoms. And then all of this uh, foam that's on here, these are just held on with a little bit of silicone I just take my six inch uh, drywall knife and just run down there and they just come right off. And that stuff works great for uh, insulating around air conditioners and things like that. And uh, all kinds of neat stuff you can do with that. So I saved that stuff and then I'll have the two by fours all uh, pulled apart. All these little blocks I save for shims and propping things up or whatever, leveling things. And then later down the line, if they uh, start cracking or drying out they end up in the fire pit Everything gets used the nails get uh, pulled out and put into a bucket And if I need a nail, I just go over there grab one tap it straight with the hammer and drive it in Saves me from buying nails for the rest of my life, right? Way to go So anyway, um, a couple of the totes we got today had uh, water in them. They had already started rinsing them out and uh, The water was uh, good filtered water so I didn't want to waste that so my neighbor agreed I could keep that water I pumped it into my totes down there so now I've got water again down at the uh, the greenhouse or the garden house um, not that much but I'll drain down the water that's up here in these totes get that down there too and then uh, like I said I'm going to be planning on calling in another load of water about 3,400 or 3,600 gallons of water, and I'll uh, um, fill up my main tank. If I drain that all the way down first, then I get to clean it out. I go through the, the inside of it and clean it out with um, a swimming pool chlorine and make sure I kill all bacteria that's inside of it. And then uh, I have it all ready and air dried, and then when the new truck comes, he dumps in nice fresh water in there. And uh, I'm ready to go for a while longer. So he'll fill up. Uh, my tank only holds 2,500 gallons, but I can hold another 
um, 800 gallons in the blue barrels around there, so that's 33. So there's a few hundred gallons left. They'll end up in some of the totes. But uh, I've still got half my tank of water up there. I've got over 1,250 gallons of water still up in my tank. So if I bring that down here, each one of these is 275, plus the four others I got here, and plus the four I've got set up against the side of the cabin over there. So that'll be a, a, a at least the, the truckload will, will not have to worry about not being able to be empty for his ride back. All right, so that's about all I have for today. I'm going to try to uh, stretch this out for a couple of more minutes, and I'm going to address something. Um, you remember Pierre from Heat Seeker Bus, who was down here last year in 2020, in the early part of the year, just after Christmas. Uh, he was here through New Year's and that stuff. Anyway, he had his bus parked right there. Well, he just sent me um, a link to a news story that was uh, out of Los Angeles here. And uh, I don't get that channel, so I didn't get to see that video. But I'm going to put that down in the comment section below this video under my name. You'll see see my little link down there in the, in the comment section. And for those of you who have been doubting my uh, rants and complaints about all of the illegal growers in the desert, just take a little bit of time and a couple of minutes and watch that link, watch the video, and uh, see what you think after that. See if you think that G Bear was imagining things or making things up. Just, just, just take the time to watch the video. You'll be enlightened. Okay, everybody, that's about all I really have. Um, chickens are doing fine. Tomcats are doing fine. Matter of fact, this morning I had my van parked right here with the trailer hooked up. And I came out, and Tomcat was sitting right here on top of the, this table area. And I, as I was walking by right there between the van and the pallets, I said... Hi, Tom Pat, how are you doing? And and he wagged his tail. And he just sat there, watched me, and as I walked by and went and did my stuff, and when I came back, he had just walked across there, jumped down, and went through over there to his area. I find him every now and then laying on the bench inside of the outdoor shower because he gets a nice breeze through there. And uh, it's in the shade on the, the east side of the, the containers, so... He, uh, he lays there and just takes a nice nap in, the, in that so he can be up at night chasing rodents. All right, everybody, that's all I have. Uh, thank you for joining me. Don't forget, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's keep those subscriptions coming. This is G-Bear signing off.